How to find the area of a trapezoid. The first thing we have to do is find the bases and the height. So if you take a look at our equation, there are two bases in the trapezoid. And the bases are the sides that are parallel to each other. Okay, so in this example we have base 1 is 4 and base 2 is 6. Now we can switch them mathematically, actually it doesn't matter, but you just have to make sure you have both. And then our height is 5 inches. Sometimes you will try to be tricked by your teacher or your book, and they'll put numbers on these slants or something. That's incorrect. You have to make sure that your base is perpendicular to the height here. Oftentimes it'll be dashed, but if we add another trapezoid that's, you know, perpendicular to the base right here, that can also count as the base, but not if it's slanted. Alrighty. So we have 6, 4, and we have 5. Then, f following our equation, we add the bases, 4 plus 6, and then we go ahead and multiply by the height. So 4 plus 6 would be 10, times 5 is 50. Next thing we do is we divide that by 2, and that will give us 25. Okay? Same thing as multiplying by half. It's not a problem. And lastly, we have to make sure we write the units. So my numerical answer was 25. Now we have to make sure that it's inches squared, because this is an area. So you have to make sure units are squared. And that's it.